Hello, this is Vitain from Cisco Wireless Pack. Today I'm going to be talking about the Flex Connect uh, VLAN override feature uh, starting from 7.2. It's a quick config. I have a 2500 series controller running 7.3, and I'm going to step through the config on the controller side first, starting from creating an SSID. And then I'm going to show you my authorization profile on the ACS 5.1, which I'm going to be using to send the VLAN override. So I have a um, SSID name Flex Connect Override. That's my test SSID. If you look at the SSID details, it's pointing to my management interface, which is on VLAN 254, which I'm going to show you in a little bit. On the security tab, I've selected WPA2 Enterprise with AES and .1x. Default layer, nothing in layer three. And this is going to be my ACS 5.0 standard configs after all, you have to make sure that you have the AAA override enabled. And I have it doing Flex Connect local switching. And my authentication is still going to be central. I'm just going to show you my AAA server, which is my ACS 5.2. This is my ACS 5.2. And I'm going to show you my interfaces. My management interface is on VLAN 254. On the ACS side, I'm quickly going to show you how my authorization profile is set up. So under network resources, I have my 2504 controller added. It's at this address, 154.112. Um, I have a different lab location. Um, you don't re really require that, but I was just playing around with it. That's why it's under the lab. And my device type is wireless line controllers. Under the access policy, I have a rule set up under authorization. And my client, which is going to be a Windows 7 client, is going to hit rule 4. My rule for, again, this is for simplicity. I just added a very specific rule so that my client hits that specific rule. So my username is going to be student1. My location is lab. My device type is wireless LAN controller. And my EAP authentication method is MSJAP version 2, and it's using PEEP. And I'm returning a VLAN override 20, 263. I'm going to show you that in a little bit. Go on to policy elements authorization profiles, and this is my attribute, which I'm going to be returning back. So I'm returning back VLAN 263. Going back to my controller, there's a wireless tab. I'm using a 3602 access point. It's in flex connect mode. And I don't have any VLAN assignments uh, ready for now. So I'm going to enable VLAN support. Hit VLAN mapping. And my Flex Connect override is on the native VLAN 256, 254. And this is my native VLAN as well. For the Flex Connect VLAN override feature to work for local switching, you need to create a Flex Connect group. So I have a VLAN override um, Flex Connect group for testing. And I'm going to add an access point to it. This is going to be my test access point. I'm going to add it. Going to make sure it's added to the group. Okay. So the main feed, 
the main configuration that you need to select is the WLAN ACL mapping. My bad, it's the VLAN ACL mapping. So in order for you to achieve VLAN override for local switching, you need to have a VLAN ACL mapping for all the VLANs which are gonna be used for the override. For example, I want my client to get overridden on VLAN 263. So I'm gonna add this VLAN 263 in this list. All it's gonna do is create those virtual interfaces on the radio, which you can see from the show IP interface brief on the access point itself. So I have VLAN 263 entry here. So let's go ahead and test the client connection right now. So again, uh, my Flex Connect VLAN overlapping, uh, VLAN mapping is connected to 254, and the mapping is still 254 this for this SSID. And I'll be having a client connect in on this group getting overridden on VLAN 263. And this feature has been added from 7.2 onwards. So this is my test client. Just gonna kick it off again. So it's stuck in DHCP required student one. Let's wait. Meantime, let's look at the ACS logs. So reload and look at the last entry. So if you look at the last entry, it's hitting this authorization profile, which is returning VLAN 263 see the authorization results, authentication results, you'll see the uh, VLAN attributes returned back, which is 263. Going back to the controller. All right, so as you can see, it grabbed an IP address from VLAN 263. That's my VLAN 263. It does show up as 163. And uh, I don't have any other interfaces associated here or defined here. So it's basically my management 254, and this is a test VLAN on 259, and it's grabbing an IP address from a different VLAN, which I returned back from the AAA override. That's VLAN 263. And it's local switching, central authentication, and I'm going to go over my access point again to make sure I just have. VLAN mapping to VLAN 254. My native is 254. Here is all 254. I'm going to quickly show you my switch port where my access point is connected. This is my switch port with my native VLAN 254, and it's allowing all of the VLANs. I'm going to make sure this is my 3506 uh, access point. Um, sorry, I'm going to distracted. So that's my 3602. This is the IP address. So it is on the right port, and I'm going to show you. My interface brief, I have VLAN 263 defined here, but that's just an SVI. So as you can see, the VLAN override for local switching is working as expected. Thanks.